Hi, Gemini. This is your bonus reading for October 2023. Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Gemini for October 2023. In love. Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Gemini for October 2023 in love universal energies show me what I need to see for the star sign of Gemini for October 2023 in love show me you guys subscribe like comment and share these videos if this does not resonate with you check your moon rising and venus sign videos i do not read reversals if you're interested in a private reading you can reach me at her immortal majesty at gmail.com so gemini this is a mutual point of interest between you and your partner. Maybe you mention it to your partner and it's on both you guys' minds. Maybe your partner mentioned it to you and it's on both you guys' minds. Or some external source has both you and your partner feeling this way, thinking this way, or wanting to take this action. This is the mutual point of interest between you. Gemini, this is you. This is your partner. So, Gemini, I want to say that no matter where these cards fall, it can be vice versa or someone in you guys' environment. For October 2023, the mutual point of interest between you and your partner, Gemini, is the tower. The tower is Aries and Scorpio's energy. This is something that you don't see coming. Something that catches you completely off guard. Something that just rocks the foundation of you guys' relationship. This is a shock in our moment. A moment of revelation. Now this can be a shocking shakeup or a breakup. So listen, Gemini very well could be a shocking surprise. Shocking revelation. Something being revealed or a breakup. Clarify the tower. For Gemini and their partner. Clarify the tower. For Gemini and their partner. Clarify the tower. For Gemini and their partner. It is clarified with the Queen of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This queen is a very loving, kind, compassionate queen. This is a nurturing queen. This is the mothering energy. She's very intuitive and psychic and she searches her emotions. Could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their chart. However, someone here could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Cups, using their intuition concerning something, or searching their emotions concerning something. Also with the Queen of Cups, this is a mothering, nurturing energy, so you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Gemini and their partner. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Gemini and their partner. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Gemini and their partner. It is clear. What? The Tower again? Again? Oh, gosh. Like I said, very well could be a shocking surprise, shocking revelation, something being revealed, or a breakup. Now, I have to show you because some people will say, oh, how you get two towers? Because it's two different decks, okay? Just have some people that just are weird like that, okay? Clarify the tower for Gemini and their partner. Clarify the tower for Gemini and their partner. Clarify the tower for Gemini and their partner. It is clarified with death. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. But death symbolizes to end something, only to begin something new. Death symbolizes transformation, rebirth. So listen, could be dealing with a Scorpio, but you can tell me that something is ending here. Something could be starting new after an ending or some type of transformation or change. Clarify death for Gemini and their partner. Clarify death for Gemini and their partner. Clarify death for Gemini and their partner. It is clarified with the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. 
This is either you or your partner coming in to bring something more solid, stable, and secure. Now, this can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. But it's on the slowest moving night in the deck. So having anything solid, stable, secure, and long lasting is so slow coming to the point where it seems like it's not coming at all. So stability or commitment has been halted here. So everything has come to a screeching halt. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Gemini and their partner. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Gemini and their partner. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Gemini and their partner. It is clarified with the Ten of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling backstabbed and betrayed, humiliated, devastated, completely let down, completely let down. This is a Ten, so this is an ending, an ending in betrayal. So Gemini, listen, someone here is feeling a sense of betrayal, let down, and devastation here. But in Tarot, Tens are ending, so someone could be coming up out of feeling a sense of betrayal. So listen, very well could have been a shocking revelation, some type of shocking shakeup that caused an ending here. We're discovering some type of betrayal. We're going stagnant. Things are ending, okay? <sighs> However, someone may want to come in after some type of shocking shakeup, breakup, you know, coming in to, uh, because they're over some type of betrayal here. Okay, and maybe wanting to transform things and start new after an ending, and the other person is caught off guard by that. Let's see, Gemini, you have the Eight of Pentacles, you have the Chariots, you have the Four of Swords. Hmm. Your partner has the Moon, your partner has the Ace of Cups, and your partner has. The five of wands, what's going on here? Hmm. So Gemini, the mutual point of interest in what's on both you guys' mind, is there some type of shocking shakeup, maybe even a breakup happening here, okay? Someone searching their emotions, using their intuition concerning this shocking shakeup and breakup, whether or not they should end things, maybe even starting new after an ending. You guys are stagnant. Someone is feeling a sense of betrayal, but maybe someone is coming up out of feeling a sense of betrayal and maybe wanting to start new after this breakup, after this shakeup, after this ending. Oh my goodness. Gemini, you have the Eight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is mastering your craft, perfecting your skills, trades, and abilities. This is you throwing yourself into your work. But this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So listen, Gemini, this could all be work or business. You can tell me that you're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. You can tell me that you're working on something, planning something, perfecting something here. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles for Gemini. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles for Gemini. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles for Gemini. It is clarified with the Ten of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is emotional fulfillment. This is the Apex card. This is the happy family, happy life, happy wife, happy, stable, committed relationship, and happy home. This is what we're all striving for. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, emotional fulfillment. So Gemini, listen, someone very well may have commitment on the brain here. But in tarot, tens are ending, so it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Hmm... Now, listen, you know, someone could tell me that, hey, I want to work things out and salvage our commitment, marriage, living together, situation, family dynamics. I want to work things out. I'm willing to put in the work here. Could also be that someone is planning something here. Maybe they're wanting to go into commitment. There's some type of plan here. Or someone is working or planning on ending things here. Hmm. Could have ended because of something happening at work. You have the chariots. Could be dealing with a cancer, but you're determined to move forward confidently, victoriously, successfully ahead. Now, this can speak to travel. This can speak to relocating cities, states, countries. This can speak to moving from one residence to another or simply moving forward and leaving things behind. But you're determined to move forward confidently. So, Gemini could be dealing with a cancer, but you're wanting to make some type of move here. Clarify the chariot. 
for Gemini, clarify the chariot. For Gemini, clarify the chariot. For Gemini, it is clarified with the three of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we are reunited and it feels so good. Let's go out, eat, drink, and be merry and celebrate. Celebrate that we're reunited and it feels so good. But this can also speak to there being a third party situation going on. So listen, Gemini, you can tell me that you have just cause to celebrate. You can tell me that you guys are reuniting or there's a third party. Now listen, you can tell me that you're moving forward with you guys as having just cause to celebrate. Maybe you're planning to go into some type of commitment here. You can tell me that you're moving forward. You guys are reuniting because you guys are working things out and salvaging you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation or family dynamics. Or you're telling me that you're just wanting to move forward or move on because there was a third party. Are you moving towards a third party and you're working in working on something to end of commitment here so that you can go towards a third party. Gemini, you have the four of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this is you taking a break, resting, recovering, meditating, praying, recharging your crystals. So Gemini, listen, you can tell me that you guys are on a break. You can tell me that you're trying to recover or you're meditating on something. Clarify the four of swords for Gemini. Clarify the four of swords. For Gemini, clarify the four of swords. For Gemini, it is clarified with judgment. Now, judgment could be you passing your own final verdict and judgment over you guys' relationship. Judgment could be the final verdict and judgment in a legal court case. But judgment is forgiveness and resurrection of the relationship. Second chances. So Gemini, listen, you could be passing your own final verdict and judgment here. Someone could be asking for forgiveness in a second chance. Or you're dealing with something illegal. Clarify judgment. For Gemini, clarify judgment. For Gemini, clarify judgment. For Gemini. It is clarified with the five of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is tit for tat, talk of war, one up in one another, snide remarks, having the last say, speaking ill of one another behind each other's back, backstabbing one another. This is playing mind games, ego tripping, trying to win at all costs, a bunch of mind games and manipulation. So Gemini, listen, you can tell me that you guys had this tit for tat, talk of war, toe to toe going on. Could be some form of mind games, manipulation. However, you can tell me that you're pissed and you have an axe to grind here. Now listen, you can tell me because of the tip for tat tug of war, toe to toe, mind games and manipulation, maybe it's you wanting to ask for forgiveness in a second chance after a break here, okay? But this is what you're meditating on. However, you can tell me that your judgment is to go on a break from this person because of the mind games and manipulation, the tip for tat tug of war, or that you're just pissed about something. I hope you're not moving towards a third party. Hmm. I don't know. You could be asking for forgiveness in a second chance, wanting to work things out with this person. So, Gemini, I feel like there must have been some type of shocking shakeup or breakup. You're searching your emotions, using your intuition concerning this shocking shakeup or breakup here. Maybe wanting things may have ended here, but maybe you're wanting to transform things and start new after coming off some type of stagnation here. Some type of betrayal was caused here. Now, either you're betrayed and you feel like you just want to go stagnant with this person or you're feeling like um, we're coming up out of feeling this is a betrayal, maybe wanting to start new after an ending here. Gemini, <laughs> your partner has the moon. Could be dealing with a Pisces, but the moon symbolizes secrets or things that are not yet known. It can symbolize moodiness, depression, vivid dreams, deep emotions, intuition, but secrets. So listen, Gemini could be dealing with a Pisces, but your partner could tell me that they're in the dark concerning something. Your partner could tell me that they're using their intuition or there's a secret. I can't stand it. I'm just telling you right now, I cannot stand it. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Clarify the moon for Gemini's partner. Clarify the moon for Gemini's partner. 
clarify the moon for Gemini's partner. It is clarified with the Six of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is balance, equality, reciprocity, equal give and take. This is matching the efforts, energy, time, love, patience, resources, and responsibilities in a relationship. This is balance, but this can also speak to the merchant giving to two, being generous and giving to two. This is also a payout card, a gifting someone card, assisting someone card. So listen, Gemini, your partner could tell me that something is off balance here. Something could be off balance with the giving and receiving. They may be giving something here, receiving something here, or they're telling me that someone was giving more somewhere else, giving to two. Hmm. Was there a secret here? A surprise, a secret surprise here? Your partner's giving you something? Maybe wanting to go into commitment? Or is this something that you're planning? Okay, you could be planning before the fact because it's you coming in to give them something here that catches them off surprise. Or you're planning after the fact because they were giving you something here, okay? Coming forward with a secret, wanting to give you maybe bling, bling, shiny thing, having just cause to celebrate, going into a commitment. Or your partner's telling me that some type of secret came out that someone here was giving more somewhere else, giving to two, a third party. Gemini, your partner has the Ace of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is a brand new beginning in love. A brand new beginning in a deep emotional connection. This is love overflowing. A brand new blessing. A brand new beginning in love. So Gemini, new love, new start to love, or a blessing here for your partner. Clear about the Ace of Cups. For Gemini's partner. Clear about the Ace of Cups. For Gemini's partner clarify the ace of cups for gemini's partner it is clarified with the king i'm really the queen of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn this queen is usually stable rooted grounded traditional believes in the institution of marriage and family someone who is good with managing finances and material resources could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with Earth prominent in their chart. However, when we're dealing with the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. Queen of Pentacles is a nurturing, mothering energy. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with, or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with, or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Gemini's partner. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Gemini's partner. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Gemini's partner. It is clarified with the High Priestess, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is she who knows. She who knows. This is the keeper of the hidden secrets, keeper of the hidden knowledge. The universe is calling for your partner to use their intuition. But they may know something that they're keeping to themselves. Now, the high priestess keeps silent, so it's a good chance that you guys aren't speaking to one another. So listen, Gemini, your partner could tell me that you guys aren't speaking. Your partner could tell me that they're using their intuition or there's a secret. Clarify the high priestess for Gemini's partner. Clarify the high priestess for Gemini's partner. Clarify the high priestess for Gemini's partner. It is clarified with the emperor. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus, but the emperor is someone who runs empires. This is a boss, a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. This is usually an older gentleman. It doesn't have to be, but someone who's wise yet stern. Someone who wants complete control and authority. Could be dealing with this Aries or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the emperor is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child because the emperor is a father figure. Could also be dealing with someone you work with or do business with here. Clarify the emperor for Gemini's partner. Clarify the emperor for Gemini's partner. Clarify the emperor for Gemini's partner. It is clarified with the king of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This king is a very loving, kind, compassionate king. He's fair and balanced in his emotions, but he does not wear his emotions on his sleeve. He's in complete control of his emotions. 
Could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their chart. However, your partner could be taking on the energy of this King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups is someone with a great deal of emotions within them, but they're not outwardly expressing their emotions. They're masking their emotions or wearing a mask. Also, the King of Cups, this is a nurturing father figure, so you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the King of Cups. For Gemini's partner, clarify the King of Cups. For Gemini's partner, clarify the King of Cups. For Gemini's partner, it is clarified with you, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, the King of Swords. This king is a very intelligent, analytical, and logical king. He only wants to deal with the truth, the facts, and the proof of the matter. So this is about truthful communication, and this is about making a decision. But Gemini, this is you. Clarify the king of swords. But Gemini's partner. Clarify the king of swords. But Gemini's partner. What does Gemini's partner think of Gemini? What does Gemini's partner think of Gemini? Clarify the King of Swords for Gemini's partner. It is clarified with the Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is someone rushing into your partner or your partner rushing in to start a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, someone could be rushing in, going off, going ham passionately, rushing in with the spark of a new idea, rushing in with some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. This is flighty energy, in and out energy, player energy. So Gemini, listen, I asked, what does your partner think of you? Your partner could think that there is a rush to do something. Could be a rushing in, going off, going ham passionately with a heated discussion or argument. Or someone was out being a player getting cookies. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Gemini's partner. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Gemini's partner. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Gemini's partner. It is clarified with the Two of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is your partner being at a crossroads, needing to pick a path between two. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? So listen, Gemini, your partner's at a crossroads needing to decide, needing to pick a path here. Now, your partner could tell me that as the King of Cups, there's still a great deal of love here. You know, you guys may not be speaking right now. They could be using their intuition on what to do because they may want to start new here. They want, may want to come in and get some cookies and reunite here and give you something here. They're using their intuition using their intuition, but maybe uh, giving you something here or accepting something from you so that you guys can kind of make up properly over here with the Knight of Wands and start new here. However, your partner could tell me that you guys had this rushing and going off, going hand passionately with a heated discussion or argument over maybe some type of money, assets, resources, property, some type of blessing here, something being off balance here physically with some type of physical, tangible thing here. That's causing an issue. Mm -hmm. Your partner could also tell me that someone was out being a player getting cookies somewhere with new love. What about Gemini? What about Gemini? Was Gemini out being a player with a third party here? Is the secret coming out about you giving more somewhere else, giving to two? Gemini, your partner has the five of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is conflict. This is fussing, fighting, disagreements, arguments, jealousy, competition, drama. But this can also speak to your partner being conflicted within about something. So listen, Gemini, your partner could tell me that they're conflicted within about something. Or some type of conflict, disagreement, argument, drama is taking place here. Clarify the five of wands for Gemini's partner. Clarify the five of wands for Gemini's partner. Clarify the five of wands for Gemini's partner. It is clarified with the nine of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is wish fulfillment. But this can also speak to your partner feeling smug or overindulging in alcohol or substance abuse. So Gemini, listen, your partner can tell me that they're getting their wish. Could be feeling smug here or overindulging, trying to numb out. Listen, your partner could tell me that they're conflicted with them concerning their wish. Because they're at a crossroads, 
using their intuition and their wish very well could be to start new with you. Okay, using that intuition on whether or not to come in and give you bling bling shiny thing here or accept bling bling shiny thing. However, your partner could tell me that you guys had this conflict, this disagreement, this argument, this drama. They could be feeling smug or overindulging, trying to numb out because you guys had this rushing and going off, going ham passionately with a heated discussion or argument. So Gemini, I just feel like, listen, I feel like you guys had this shocking shakeup. Maybe even a breakup. Someone here is using their intuition and searching their emotions here. Because it very well could be a shocking surprise that someone is wanting to come in and start new after ending. After some type of stagnation. After some type of betrayal here. Because someone is asking for forgiveness and a second chance. And someone wants to start new here. Okay. But we've been through it. We've been through it. So I feel like this is about working things out. I'm going to take a look at the situationship between you and your partner, Gemini. This is just additional messages here. And so it says, crushed, sad, broken, feeling alone. Crushed, sad, broken, feeling alone here. Mm -hmm. Some type of betrayal. What else? for Gemini and their partner what else for Gemini and their partner anxiety scared panic oh someone's stressed mm. anxiety scared panic okay yes yeah, a lot of shockers here I'm going to take a look at the lover's oracle for you and your partner Gemini and it says, soulmate, your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. Soulmate, your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. Your soulmate is already here, but I'm telling you, you're going through some things. I don't know if you're trying to make a da mad dash towards someone else over here. Hmm. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Gemini, this is your bonus reading for October 2023. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at herimmortalmaj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.